Hi, I'm Matt Frazier with Panasonic, and we're here at CES 2018. I want to thank Smart Review for awarding the GH5S with a 4K award for video excellence. So, why don't we go ahead and go through the camera and explain some of its benefits. Uh, let's start off with what's changed versus the GH5. Uh, number one change is the sensor. We have a completely new sensor and imager in this camera this year. Uh, it's a 10.2 megapixel sensor, so it's half the resolution of the GH5. This means every one of those photo diodes is much larger than the GH5. This yields much better low light video capability for the camera. On top of that, we're taking technology from our Vericam products, our ultra high end cinema products called dual native ISO. What this does is it gives you access to a very high dynamic range, low noise setting at ISO 400, and then an equally clean setting at ISO 2500, so that you get incredible low light sensitivity as well as regular daylight sensitivity as well. That ISO 4 2500 setting also gives us the ability to extend the ISO much higher than we normally would without dual native. So we can take this camera out to 51,200 ISO or with our extended function turned on, you can go well over 200,000 ISO with the GH5S. Uh, additional features, when we remove this little PC port, you can add a cable that's included with the GH5 that, or GH5S that will allow you to use a t an external timecode generator. So if you're planning on syncing multiple cameras, or in some cases an audio recorder separate from your video camera, you can have a timecode syncing all of that stuff together so it makes for a much easier edit when it comes time to work in post. Uh, you'll start to see this camera shipping most likely the beginning of February and it should retail for $24.99. So what we've done is we've changed the record button, it's a red color now. On the drive wheel, we've added a red accent color. This can be removed to access the timecode input for the camera. The LCD is still fully articulated. Still has an electronic viewfinder that works when shooting video. That's our high sensitivity new CMOS sensor that's only 10.2 megapixels, so it has much larger diodes. We have our joystick for choosing your autofocus settings. In the menu, under exposure, is our dual native ISO settings. You can have auto where it will automatically switch for you. You can set it to low. If you set it to low, it will limit you from ISO 320 up to 1600 when I'm in V-Log. Or if I'm in high, in V-Log, it starts at 1600 and works its way up to 25,006. If we take it out of V-Log, to a standard picture profile, you can now see we have access all the way up to 204,800 ISO. So, its primary difference in 4K would be, actually hold on a second. Its primary difference in 4K is going to have to do with a access to a feature called Cinema 4K or C4K which is a wider aspect ratio than uh, traditional television. C4K gives us resolution of 4096 by 2160, and we've now added access to 5994, also known as 60p. So the GH5 did not have a 60p C4K function, the GH5S does.